I've had a couple of questions about how to um, copy your data frame and copy your layers into a new data frame. So I made this video to show you how to do that. Here we can see the map of the US by counties that you're using in exercise five or assignment five one. Um, and I've already went ahead and joined all the heating fuel to it. Um, now you may want to show more than one variable in the attribute table, two different maps, and you need a second data frame. Remember the first step is going to be adding a new data frame. So we'll click on the insert menu and data frame. And you'll see it adds the new data frame here. Right now we are in the data view. So the only thing um, we can see is our active data frame, which is our new data frame. And since we have no data there, nothing's displaying. If we were to activate our layers data frame by right clicking and scrolling down to activate, um, we would see that map of the US again. Um, let's say we want to display this first layer will be our solar energy um, data frame where we display the number of homes with solar energy. And our second data frame, we uh, will, this will be our homes that use wood burning um, appliances to heat their homes. So how do we copy all of this into our new data frame? If you don't have a lot of data layers or data or uh, feature classes that you need to copy, just one or two, you can always um, highlight them and you can highlight multiple by holding down control and clicking on the layer name and you can drag and drop them and they'll populate into the new data frame. And if we activate, right click activate, our newest data frame, we'll see our, uh, all of that data again. If you notice, I didn't set a projection for this data frame and I never changed the projection on the original maps. I just set the projection of the data frame. So they've been projected back into the original format. Go ahead and adjust that projection right now for time's sake. Do, 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 continental. There it is, okay. And for now, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> okay. Um, and we can then, once it loads, zoom in on the lower 48 states and have that same uh, map. So that's one short way to quickly add in your new um, data layers. Sometimes though, you have a lot of layers um, in your data frame, maybe five, 10, 15, and you do not want to have to copy them each individually. Um, so let's just go ahead and remove this, the new data frame we made. If you want to copy the entire data frame, it can be a little bit confusing in the book directions because it tells you just to copy and paste the um, data frame into a new data frame or copy and paste and everything will go swimmingly. Unfortunately, if you notice, I can't copy and paste it. I'm clicking right, and nothing's happening. Even if I add a new data frame and I click right on it, Paste layers doesn't pop up because I've tried to copy the whole data frame. Um, hmm. <laughs> My computer's a little old. Um, so what we can do though, go ahead and remove that. What is not always clear in some of the resources is that you can do this. It just has to be done in the layout view. So we're still in the data view. Let's click over to the layout view. Do, do, do. And you'll see that now we're on the virtual page. And if you try to click on the data frame to copy and paste, you'll still see that you can't do it in the table of contents. You're probably getting really frustrated. Why am I right clicking and nothing's happening? The trick is you have to click on the actual data frame on the virtual page. So right now I can click right, right click on it and go to copy. And then once it's done copying, once it's done copying, we can right click again somewhere in the virtual page. And if you'll notice, paste is now active. So we can copy and paste that. And it will add a second data frame to our a table of contents and add a second data frame onto our map. If you notice it's adding it virtually on top of it, so it's hard to see, but once the new neat line draws, you'll be able to move it. 
The other thing to note, since we did it this way, since we copied the whole data frame, the projection information has remained consistent. So we don't have to reproject the map of the United States to get it to display the same way. Um, so once you get that copied and pasted, you can adjust your neat lines as you need to to fit both of the maps on there um, and start your uh, um, efforts to make the best looking map you can.